Oh, see, I hate this. I hate if they take my bird out. And Hey beautiful CVPs, welcome to my channel! It's a beautiful day to be alive because we are going today to the vet! Um, <laughs> you can hear Angela's right now with me. So if you are new here, welcome, I'm Caroline Von Petzl. Welcome to my channel. Please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and smash the bell and turn on notification and give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Okay, so let's head over to the vet. If you have seen the video, the previous video, Angel has got bitten or hurt somehow in his foot. And I have here tape. So I'm gonna put some tape on it too and bandage it all up. And it healed pretty good within a week. But just to be sure, I'm going now with Angel to the vet to see what the vet says about his foot. Angel is excited. He's right now right here. You can see right here in his cage. Are you doing good? Good. Yeah. Oh. Also, guys, I want to say foot infection is no joke. It's so serious. I know at least two birds who die from a foot infection. So you have to like, kind of like act quick. So when this happened, like no vet was available. It was weekend. I was calling around and around. I was calling again around and no vet was available. And it's always with emergency that no vet is available. So I had to act quick and I had my first aid kit. I know, I know, almost done. Hold on, almost done. And I um, had to nurse Angel. Once the bird gets bitten or hurt in the foot and you don't do anything, that's when you can lose your bird. This is serious, guys. You can lose your bird. Your bird can die through a foot infection or through a bite if you don't nurse it immediately. You have to clean the wound, you have to bandage it up and put some kind of an ointment or something in it that no infection, no bacteria can go into the wound. It's very important. A closed wound will heal faster than an open wound. So with Angel, there was no vet available and I just had to nurse him really, really fast. And I have learned from experience because, you know, Dino died on me when no vet was available. So now I'm always prepared. I always have first aid kit at home. If something happened and it happens fast, shit happens so fast, you have to be prepared. I'm gonna make another video and comment below if you wanna see it. Uh, what's in my first aid kit? I can show you everything what I have in my first aid kit so you can be prepared if there's an emergency with your bird at home. So you know what to like stock up so you don't feel so helpless and don't know what to do if if no vet is available and if there's an emergency. Also, I want to let you know that, you know, when I found him, like he was hurt, but he hides his sickness. I couldn't tell he was hurt just from the outside appearance. He was, he was happy, he was chirping, he was eating. Everything looked so good. And I was like, but I saw like something was wrong with his foot and he was like, like stucking it up, tucking it up into his feathers. And I was like, hmm, this is not Angel. But he was whistling and he was happy, cheering like the little clown he is. But you know, you have to be so aware about your birds and you need to know your birds and their behaviors and their personality. Um, and also check them like regularly, like have them in your hand and see what's going on. Because I, I, I knew something was wrong, but I couldn't tell what. But when I saw the bite, I was like, wow, okay, uh, shoot, okay, let's handle fast. So birds hide their sickness. They have to camouflage in the wild and they need to seem strong so they won't be prey for the predators. So this is a feature that birds have. They camouflage if they're sick and they act like everything is okay even though inside or they're hurt or they're in pain. I know he was in pain, so I had to give him pain meds and I bandage up his wound. So you have to be very, very knowledgeable with your bird and know when there's something going on because you cannot see it from the outside. He was, unless it's too late. If it's too late, they will be down in the cage and then next day they die or even a couple of hours. This can go so fast. Birds are so delicate, they can die so fast. So I just wanna like say, be really aware if there's an accident, you have to know your bird and you have to handle very fast so you don't lose them. 
All right, so we're heading now right now to the vet. We're entering the freeway. I'm gonna shut off the camera because I need to concentrate on driving, and I will tune in with you once I'm at the vet. One hour late. We just got to the vet. Here's Angel. Let's go in and say hi, and like just introduce Angel to them. And also, when I'm with Angel, I'm holding. He's on the harness, as you can see. I'm holding his harness really short, just in case he wants to fly off. I have him controlled. It's us, Angel and. Okay. <laughs> Just have a seat. We'll be right with you. All right, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my God. Look at him. He's so cute. Yeah, he's a rainbow lorikeet. I got a conure and my bird hates me. He's very angry all the time. Really? My son's bird though. Aww. We I just don't wrote... socialize him enough. And so, you know, again, it's one of those things that you have an animal and you don't spend the time with them so they get it. angry because you don't handle them enough and they are just like wi getting wild if you don't kind of like um, spend time with them. You have yeah. to spend a lot of time with them, especially birds. They are very social flock animal, so they need the interaction. They're even more dependent than a dog or a cat. I wrote a whole book about bird, bird and parrot training. It's called How to Train Your Parrot. It's on Amazon. And yeah, and I'm also free flight, so I, tr I fly him, I train him to fly and come back. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Oh, doggies. This guy's got a cat. Oh, he does? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. Thank Bye. Doggy. He got a little haircut. Thank you. Are you okay? Are you okay? Look, I have some grips for you. Are you happy? Are you happy? Mm. Hi, Angel. Want some water? Okay. Kobe. What did I say? Water? What kind of bird is he? Angel. He's a rainbow lorikey. Oh, beautiful. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's from Australia originally. <laughs> so they're very, very rare. He's very friendly. Yeah, but not to dogs. <laughs> How does he do when, when, when dogs bark at him? Does he get, a, does he get stressed? No, he's, you see him, he's just, he's just taking it all in. nice. <laughs> You want some water? Like barking at the bird. <laughs> water? Very cute. No? There you go. Glory key. How's your other bird doing? Oh, he's good. Okay, he's a cutie. I remember him. The big hyacinth? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's beautiful. <coughs> he's a cutie. He's, he's all happy and chirping. Okay, good. This is Angel. Good. Hi, Angel. Yeah, you see his little Hi. toe? My other bird, not, not, I think he oh, got bitten on his back oh, toe. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah. so okay. we just need to check it out. Right. But it healed pretty good, and you guys weren't available when it happened. Oh, no. Oh, their doctor was probably on vacation. Yeah. Um, he's here now, so don't worry. Yeah. I hope we have that. You're not allowed to. Gray. I hope, I mean, yeah, you can hold him if you want. It. He's also in his harness. He's very friendly. Hi. Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome. Hi, Hi. No, no. Oh, he's no, very he's... sweet. You handle yeah, you can... him a lot, huh? Yeah, you can Hi. even scratch his head. Hi. Can I touch you? Yeah. He doesn't Hi. bite. Even though he has a sharp beak. Hi. <laughs> he hates his harness right Hi. now. I know. That, but that's awesome that you train them that way. Yeah, I just wrote a book about Hi. parrot training. It's really? called How to Train Your Parrot. Get it done. Yeah. About free flight and how to handle the parrot, uh -huh. how to bond with your parrot. Oh, that's so cool. It's on Amazon. Is it at, on oh, Amazon? He? He's three years old. Hi. Okay. Hi. No, he's a, he's a um, what do you call it? A rainbow. Lorikey. Yeah. But what's your question? Um, it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. Yeah, it's on Amazon.com. Yeah. Okay, we'll check it out. Yeah. Hi. 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 H
Hi. Hi, I'm gonna give it back to your mommy, okay? Come on, Angel. Angel. Oh, that's so sweet. I want you to sign yeah. here. It just goes over um, what to look out for when we treat birds, just because birds do get anxiety more than other animals. I know, do. and I don't want to stress him too of much. Course. So I bandage it up myself and kind of try to nurse him mm -hmm. at home when you guys weren't available. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. You're so cute. Why are you so cute, Angel? You're so cute. My little cutie. He's kissing my lip. Mm. Just did it like a few months ago. So maybe oh, so it's a brand new that. thing? Yeah, maybe you didn't see. Well, you'll let me know. She's going to play it for you and then you'll let okay. me know. Okay. It's, it's about bird care it's and everything? It's about basic. I know you know a lot about birds already. Um, it's just like <coughs> basic um, about avian care and nutrition. Cages with wire bottoms and thorough vegetable trays are best as they allow for easy cleaning. Cages should never be painted with any lead based paint as this can be. Just, I'm just going to get, um, I'm just going to stop this for one second so I can come in and get a wait. Okay. Um, uh, the doctor will be in in a few minutes. Okay. Um, and we'll do the exam. Just, we're just here for just regular exam, right? No well, problems or well, any issues? Yes, he, Angel has hurt his foot. I, I don't know if it's a bite from my other bird, oh. right? The, the little back toe um, a week ago where you guys were not available. Oh, yeah. So I nursed it at home. Uh huh. But it's kind of like a little bigger than the other Hi, side. Are you happy? He's friendly. Hi. Can step oh, up. hello. And, and I just want to make sure Hi. that everything was okay and I did the right Hi. thing to heal it up. But I just want to. Vet to look over yeah, it. Yeah, no, I definitely, I agree. So kind of like a checkup. Oh, are you gonna? Stop? You see, it's kind of like a little bigger than you understand. Yeah, I see. So I. Are you gonna step down for me? You gonna wait? step down? Oh, let me throw it out first before I make you stand on there. He hates uh, his harness, but there you go. Necessary. You're fine. He's a lightweight. Okay, perfect. Yeah, like oh. his little feet doesn't look too got a little bigger. Interesting. And I know, pictures. like. I know like other birds die on you food infection. You don't want that on you, do you? Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, you're so pretty. I'm just, we're just taking, I'm just taking the picture for his account right here. Oh, okay. And then we'll have it on his account. Okay. Okay. How long have you had Angel for? Oh, since he was a baby. Oh, okay. So he's three years old. I got him when he was baby, like probably like two months or so, or three months. Okay. And what is he eating right now? Oh, he has nectar. He has his lorikeet diet. Yeah. Lorikeets, but some of it does, like to just get all bird information. Well, lorikeets are very rare, too, yeah. and they're very hard to get. Yeah. yeah. Well, Doctor will be in just a few minutes. I'm going to put this back on for you. Okay. And thank then you. I'll let him know. Okay. Thank you. Okay, no problem. I'll leave him up. Oh, I know. That you can take. Can I have this? So watching the video. Okay. I'll come back when it's done. It's okay. okay. We can start. Yeah? Yeah. We'll pause this much faster. Okay. okay. Potentially see. Okay. okay, so are you okay with if I film? Sure. Okay, thank you. So, oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, there we go. Right. So, this is Angel. She's pretty. Yeah, he, pretty. I have him since a baby. He got bitten, or he, I don't know, but his little toe, what happened to him, but his little toe got hurt yes. a week ago. He's friendly. And I nurse him up. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of a little bigger than the other side, so yes, I just I want you that. to look over it and see, like, yeah, because I hear a bird can die from foot infection. Okay, yeah, I see. So. Do you want me to take off this? Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. You might. You, you got it. Well, okay. sort of got yeah. it. He hates to be toweled. Yeah, <laughs> He's also yeah. fully flighted. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, at least we have some control. Come here, yeah. Me, boy. Yeah, I have okay. napkins. Okay. Okay. I know, I know. It's, it's okay. I got him. Here we go. Oh, that's a big... Okay. And you have a, a bunch of these? No, I just have one lorikeet. Uh -huh. Oh, you have a scope. That's so cool. I have one lorikeet. Two macaws and two Amazons.
Is he bothering with the foot? No, not at all. He seems normal and happy, but I'm just a little concerned because it's a little thicker on the other yeah. side. It healed up really nicely, but there was a... Was it bleeding? It was bleeding and there was a, a, a cut, so it was almost split in half. So it's a kind of a little bigger than the mm. other side. You think, it, and part of his nails is gone too. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Come on. Come on, Come on. Come on. Um, so it looks like the damage that happened through the laceration probably caused some constriction, okay, as okay. it's healing. It's okay. contracting, acting like a tourniquet, making the. the distal part or the farther part of the toe swollen. Okay. Uh, what I'd like to do is put them on antibiotics for about 10 days and have you take that foot and soak it in Epsom salt. Okay. okay? The Epsom salt will draw out some swelling. Okay. okay. It'll soften the tissue. Maybe it will come back. You can see that scar is very deep on the bottom. Yeah. So it may stay swollen, but this way we'll give it a chance to heal. Okay. okay? Sometimes the birds will then start picking at the toe, yeah. you know, if this starts to be too tight, it'll feel like a tingling. And I've had some birds even eat the toe off, you know. So we'll just watch him. And he's leaving it alone right now, so we're probably gonna be okay. Yeah. But this will be the best approach. Okay. All right. Will it go back to normal size or you think? I don't know. I'd say we have about a 50-50 chance. Okay. Right now that dark band of scar tissue right that's going to get tighter and tighter so it may act like a like a band uh, around the foot which is causing it not to be able to drain mm -hmm. so he may lose function with that toe with him being fully flighted you have to watch and make sure he can still grasp his uh his uh, perch as well yeah okay. he his grip is really good it's yeah. really tight even on my finger get some epsom salt and just soak the toe so just either put it in a cotton ball and hold it on the toe, yeah. or stick the foot in a little uh, thimble of Epsom salt water. I have Epsom salt at home. Yes. So, so I just soak it into the Epsom salt. Yes, make the solution according to the, the package direction. Okay. And then just soak for three minutes, four minutes. Good rinse, you gotta get that salt off. But just that one toe? Yeah. So I have to hold him down for three minutes? Yeah. Okay, or you Every take, day, one time, or? I would do it two times a day for five to seven days, and we see if it's okay. getting any less. Okay. If it's getting less swollen. Okay. All right? And then you'll give them the antibiotics. I'll have the technicians give them an injection. Okay. And then we'll see. It's, this is a little hard to predict because that wound is still healing. Yeah. You know? And that when wounds heal, they get tighter. Yeah. Right? They, go, they do what we call contraction phase, which may make it even tighter, and the toe may get bigger and bigger instead of smaller. Exactly. Okay, so the Epsom salts will help soften the thing. Don't try and pull the scab off. Though. No. No, just leave it. And then we'll see after 10 days whether it's looking any better. Right. Okay, but it, it doesn't appear to be hurting him at this point. No, he but looks gets, normal. Even after the bite, he was tripping. He was like normal self. Yeah. So, and I, but I know he was in pain, but he just kind of fake it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the issue here is whether or not if it continues to get bigger, it may start to tingle, and then he may, it sometimes the, it it, he may chew it off, or it may just kind of get hard like a, a scab, mm -hmm. and then we just let it fall off. Do you think the nail will grow out again? Mm, I don't think so for sure, you know, because the damage, you this, probably the blood supply is damaged from the cut on the bottom, mm -hmm. and it may re-energize itself, but, you know, it's how long now, a week, two weeks? A week, one week. Yeah. It's last Saturday. It might come back, but I wouldn't count on it. You know, that's the hard part. Okay, if that's all right, they'll give him an injection. We'll send home the medication. You keep okay. him extra warm, you know, okay. and, uh, you know, just keep watching that his grip can stays good. Okay. okay. Because if this starts to get weak, you know, where yeah. he's not feeling it, he may not have that back toe to hold on. Yeah. And then if he's flying and he tries to perch, he may fall. Yeah. Okay. No, his grip right now is good, but it can change, you say. Yes. If, if this starts getting worse, as the wound contracts further, it may mean that he doesn't feel it right. Mm. And then he, does, he could lose control. Gotcha. Okay? Okay. Sometimes the birds start picking at it, and then it's gnawing and gnawing, you know, and they, they get infected. 
Mm. Okay. But this is right now not infected, right? It doesn't appear to be. That's why I'm going to just put them on the antibiotics to make sure it doesn't get infected. Okay. Because that scab is still a little bit open. Yeah. And then we're just going to watch and see. You do the soaking. Yeah. And you see if it works. So three times you say is a day soaking. Two to three times would be great. Two to three times. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see. It's right now. Angel's getting an injection today. Angel. Yeah. So it's not infected, but we don't want to like want to be safe and not sorry. So we don't want him to chew off his toe or have anything like bad happen to him. So he's getting an injection today. <laughs> oh, you so cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's so cute, Angel. Mm, he's such a cutie. Such a cutie. You guys can see his little toe. It's a little bigger than the other side. Right there. It'll be like seconds. It won't be very long. And then okay. I'll bring him right back to right you, here. okay? Hi. Right, can I come watch? Um, no, we don't. We just take him into the back with the birds. Can you secure him? Yes. I'm going to actually grab him because... There are animals in the back, and I don't want anything to happen to him. Do you want to put this over your yeah, wrist? Yeah, I can put that over my wrist. Because he's fully flighted. Yeah, so I'm going to grab him now. Oh! Oh, whoa! Yeah. That's why you have to yeah. take your hand. Hey, yes! Angel, come! Oh, can Hold you on. let it go of reverse yes. again? <laughs> yes. There we go. Oh, Angel. I know. I feel You'll be good. You got him? Yeah, I got him. I got him right there. I know. I'm not... There you are. Oh, you're going to tell me how bad it is? I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, make it quicker yes, so I'll that he doesn't have okay. any pain. Nope, okay, just a second, okay? Okay. Oh, you're going to have to take my bird out, and I hate it. See, I hate this. I hate if they take my bird out, and I hate it if if I can't be with my bird. Angel is screaming right now. Oh, I wish they can just do an injection right in front of me so I can see it and be with him. Poor little angel. Yeah. Is it done? All done. See, oh, that was fast. Awesome. So, there you are. We're yeah. gonna transition you from mom. Oh, oh, oh he did. Yeah. He's just like I don't. I just don't like the harness. Oh, oh, again. Yeah, no. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Here you go. I Thank don't want you to lose him. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah, we did. It. Yeah, we just did the injection. Um, oh. the antibiotic oh. injection. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go get your meds to go home, okay? Okay, perfect. And then Thank you're you. good to go, okay? Yay. Okay, <laughs> they'll take care of you up front, okay? Okay. Later. Okay, guys, this was it. We are right now in the car. <laughs> Angel did a good, good job. You hear what the vet said? He was an amazing vet, really good vet. I really trust this vet. I think um, he is. He's good. I like him. I like his attitude, his personality, and also his knowledge. What he did with Angel. And yeah, I just thought it was better safe than sorry because it was a little thicker than usual. And yeah, so. Um, I would like to make a video about how to build a relationship with a vet. Let me know if you want to hear how to build the best relationship with a vet and just in case of emergency because I had horror experiences with vet but this vet seems so sweet and nice and this would be really like a good video if I can you know give you guys education about like vet care and about how to build a relationship with a vet. And Angel's happy. I'm giving him those grapes from my garden. Okay, so this was it. I hope you enjoy it. Please give us a thumbs up and like this video and subscribe and hit the notification button. And we're done, right? So this was it. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Mwah.